got news for you. We got news for you. Welcome to MLB Roundup. I'm Stephanie Rosa. The Major League season is officially underway. The Boston Red Sox and the Oakland A's split a two-game series in the opener in a Tokyo Dome in Japan. Up next are some games we'll actually be awake to watch. Here's a look at this week's top three Roundup matchups. Monday, March 31st, Brewers at Cubs. Ben Sheets will take the ball on opening day for the sixth time in the last seven years. He'll face Carlos Zambrano. One of these two clubs is bound to win the NL Central. Blue Jays at Yankees. Chin Ming Wang was lit up by the Indians to close the 2007 season for the Yanks. He'll start fresh in 2008, but he'll have to do it against Doc Halliday. Mets at Marlins. Lefty Johan Santana makes his Mets debut. He'll face shortstop stud Hanley Ramirez, who nearly hit 400 against Southpaws last season. The Mets snagging Santana was arguably baseball's biggest offseason acquisition. Tim Durkis of MLB Trade Rumors looks at some impact deals that slipped under the radar. My first under the radar offseason move would be the Nationals acquisition of outfielder Lastings Millage. It's only 23 and he provides a great power speed combo in center field. Millage has star potential whereas the players that Jim Bowden gave up to get him probably don't, Brian Schneider and Ryan Church. It's a big win for Washington. The second under the radar move would be the Diamondbacks acquisition of starter Billy Buckner. Buckner looks like a future number three starter with an above average knuckle curve. I think he can really step in for Arizona if somebody gets hurt. The D-backs only gave up Alberto Colaspo, who is kind of a slap hitting infielder with character issues, so I think it's a big win for Arizona. Third under the radar move would be the Indians signing of Masahide Kobayashi to a two-year deal. This move really strengthens their bullpen and it might allow them to remove Joe Borowski from the closer role and put Rafael Betancourt there use Kobayashi in the eighth, and really it's a big win for the Indians at an affordable price. From the big leagues to the fantasy leagues, the Tout Wars draft is complete. What is Tout? Basically, it's an experts league for the experts. All the cheat sheets and sleeper lists you've been reading for last month, well, these are the guys that write them. And they were in New York City last weekend for their annual draft. We follow Jeff Ma of ProTrade.com as he participated in Tout's 2008 mixed league auction. The night before my mixed league draft, I had some extra time on my hands, so I headed over to Tout Draft Headquarters to check out how the AL only draft was shaping up. I also wanted to find out what's so special about Tout. Tout Wars is it's sort of the toughest fantasy baseball league in the country. It's got all the, the best experts, the toughest, um, uh, the guys who write books and have you know tens of thousands of subscribers. It's, it's basically a get together of 12 or 13 of the premier people in the industry uh, matching their wits. There's no prize money, there's no trophy, there's no plaque, I mean there's nothing, it's just for bragging rights. You know, there's a lot of people that were, that were, you know, touting their leagues as the experts' leagues more so than anybody else. They've really tried to uphold a standard, you know, of, of being an expert. I look forward very much though to draft day. 34. 34. I've never really been able to put my finger on as to why that's so exciting, but ultimately saying I know more about baseball than you do. You know, maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's like an arrogance thing. This being my first year in Tout, I asked some of the other mixed league managers for some draft advice and learned that everybody has a strategy, but no one is willing to talk to a rookie about it. I'm not, I'm not sweating the draft as much here. I'm just going to go in and have fun and try to look for guys with upside. Ultimately, I mean, you know, I think what we're all trying to do is put together a good offense and build around that. Right now, we're all favorite. You know, right now, maybe Larry's a little bit more of a favorite because he has won three years in a row. Hi, my name is Larry Schechter. I am a contributor for the Sandlot Shrink and I'm in the mix of Tout Wars, which is tomorrow morning. I'm a three-time champion of that league. That's right, I've been thrown into the deep end, going up against the Goliath, working on a Tout Wars dynasty. There was a possibility that I could have moved into one of the um, one of the only leagues. I said, talk to me next year, Larry's going down. Then he said, he said, go for it, he said, bring it on. I think I'm gonna win like 10 in a row and then I'll retire and write a book with all my strategy. It looks like I have my work cut out for me tomorrow's draft, but not to worry, Larry isn't the only one with a secret draft day strategy. I've got two words for you. Nepi Perez, 2008 Triple Crown winner. I can feel it. It is with a heavy heart that we bid adieu to spring training. This is the last season the Dodgers will be in Vero Beach, Florida. Next season they will be in Glendale, Arizona. So ends Dodger Town. Thanks for all the memories. For MLB Roundup, I'm Stephanie Rosa. Thanks for watching.